I'm Marissa, here with another tip to bring more power to you. Did you know that you can minimize hands-off chest time during Lucas Chest Compression System application to just 10 seconds or less? With quick and proper application, the Lucas device has been proven to increase blood flow to the brain by 60% compared to manual CPR. Let's get started. Begin high quality manual compressions immediately after arriving on scene. As your partner is performing compressions, use ABC123 to prepare the device for use. A stands for activate. Open the carrying case and push the green on off button. The device is now activated and ready for application. B stands for backplate. Remove the backplate from the top of the case. Notice the suggested placement marker diagram for reference. Coordinate a natural pause in compressions with your partner and place the backplate under the patient. This will be your first hands-off moment. If coordinated well, this should only create a few seconds off the chest. Once the backplate is under the patient, your partner can immediately resume manual compressions. C stands for compressor. Lift the upper part from the case with the control panel facing toward you. Cradling the device like this allows for optimal placement control. Quickly pull and release the yellow rings to ensure the claws on both sides are open and ready to meet the backplate. As your partner continues compressions, attach the support leg nearest you to the backplate. Coordinate with your partner and swing the device quickly over the patient and listen for a click as you attach the other support leg to the opposite side. Pull up once to confirm the parts are attached on both sides. Your partner can continue manual compressions during the application. The controls on the Lucas device are labeled one, two, three. First is adjust mode and indicates lowering the suction cup to the chest. When placing the suction cup, the compression point should be at the same spot as for manual CPR. Second is the pause or lock indicator. When you press this key, the height position of the suction cup is fine-tuned and locked into the start position to ensure proper compression depth. This is the second hands-off moment. If coordinated well, this should only create a few seconds off the chest. The third indicator, active, starts compressions. You have two options from this mode, 30 and two, or continuous compressions. The three control steps allow for only a few seconds off the chest. Remember to prioritize proper placement. And that's it. I hope this tip helps make your job easier so you can focus on saving lives.